Hey, what's going on guys? Waffle Watch Lawn Service here, back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about why you should join the lawn care community here on YouTube. Alright, so you guys are probably wondering, what exactly do you mean by that, Wyatt? Well, by that I actually mean start a YouTube channel and use it to help teach others, uh, you know, some of your tips and tricks, and just share some of the experiences you guys have through lawn care. So obviously if you guys watch people's videos, mine or anyone else's on YouTube, and you participate in the comments down below and you help and talk to each other and whatnot, that's obviously joining the community. Um, but what I mean by joining the community in this video is actually going to be, you know, just starting a YouTube channel and kind of sh sharing, you know, all your personal experiences, uh, tips and tricks you guys have, how-to videos, etc. with the rest of the community. Now guys, if you want to do this, you have to do it for the right reasons. You don't want to do it, you know, for the fame or for the money or anything like that. Because really, if you go start a lawn care channel, you're probably not going to be famous. You're not going to make a lot of money or anything. And uh, I'll have to show you guys what I make in an upcoming video. Uh, it's definitely not a lot. Now, when I actually started my channel, I actually did it for uh, these couple of reasons. I wanted to start a channel to help kind of entertain people, especially closer to my age range, uh, entertain people and also help them out because I know that some of the things that I can share is definitely going to help other people out because uh, at the time, whenever I was looking to start a YouTube channel, there was a lot of guys on YouTube, but not nearly as many as there are today uh, with lawn care videos. And I really utilized them to help me, you know, kind of get my business up and going. And, uh, you know, I still use them every single day. I watch a lot of guys like Brian's Lawn Maintenance, uh, smaller channels as well and this way you know I really get a lot of information and useful information to help me grow my business and so that's why I wanted to start my channel was to personally kind of you know show some of those experiences and some of the things I have learned and help and entertain others in uh, my age range as well as other people too because I know there's people that are a little bit older that watch my videos as well now start your YouTube channel, you definitely don't need a lot. If you guys do decide you want to do it, and the reasons you do want to do it is to help and entertain others, that's a great reason to do it. And you guys kind of pick, you know, kind of how you want to do it. Uh, you kind of pick, you know, roughly an upload schedule. I definitely think you're going to want to have a schedule when doing these videos. A lot of guys, they don't, and they kind of just do them randomly. And me, I generally try to stick to a uh, once a week schedule. Now this one obviously is not going to be posted a week after my other one. I was sick, wasn't feeling so great, and then I actually got kind of in a lazy spell and didn't really feel like making a video. So this this one's actually posted almost two weeks after my last video. But I generally try to stick within a one week video posting. That's just something that works well for me and my schedule, and it's often enough to keep people entertained. Now, a lot of famous YouTubers, they do something like once a month. Uh, they do videos once a day, once every other day. Uh, really, whatever you guys, whatever works for you guys, but you definitely want to have a schedule when doing your videos. Now, what equipment do you need to start a YouTube channel? You definitely don't need a lot. When I first started my channel, all I used was my phone here. I actually didn't use this one. I actually had a Samsung at the time. This is an LG phone. It really doesn't make a difference, guys. You don't need a lot. You can hold up your camera like this and talk to the camera. Hey, what's going on, guys? Waffle Watch Lawn Service here. You know, kind of something like that is what you guys can do. And just talk to the camera like so. So it's really not that hard, guys. Then all you do is upload your footage from your camera to your computer. You can edit it a little bit and then upload it to YouTube. Now, when you guys are doing it, I don't recommend you go out there and buy like a $600 camera right away. I still don't have a $600 camera. I actually did step up my game though. I did buy a GoPro Hero 7. So it's definitely a little bit more expensive than, uh, you know, the phone camera I was using before. And hopefully the quality is a little bit nicer. But I got this because it's a good mix for me with my action shots because I do do lawn and landscape. But also because I can vlog on it like this. Now another piece of equipment you guys can use to make YouTube videos is going to be a simple tripod like this. You can pick these up on Amazon pretty cheap. I think this one was probably around 8 bucks or so. Um, so definitely relatively cheap. And now what these ones do is they actually flex so you can wrap them around like trees or whatever to help you get footage. Sit them up on top of a fence or you can sit them on top of a table. They're really universal in that sense. Now I actually learned of this one from James Randall and his brother... Oh no, what was his brother's name? I actually learned about these through James Randall with Randall Property Management. I'll link his YouTube channel down in the description below. Super cool dude. He and his brother Chad uh, was super helpful at the UAG meet and they actually had a lot of information they could share with making YouTube videos, especially with stuff like this. So I uh, definitely recommend you guys check out their channels and get some tips from them. But now we got that out of the way, let's move on to the next thing you can use to make videos. Okay guys, the next piece of equipment you can use to help you make YouTube videos is this, selfie stick. I bet you guys all would have guessed that I was going to say selfie stick. And yes, that means that if you do get one of these, you'll be one of those people walking around, just talking to a selfie stick. So yeah, you're going to fit into that crowd. You'll be one of those people. But this actually is really good because you can get attachments for it that allow you to put your phone on the end of the selfie stick and you can talk to it. And if you don't have a wide angle camera, a selfie stick is really good to get a wider field of view. It makes your vlogs a little bit more interesting because you don't want to be talking right to the camera like this. It's not as enjoyable. So you want to have more of a wider field of view like this and the selfie stick could be just a solution if you guys are using your cell phone to start. 
Now, the next piece of equipment is going to be this. You guys are probably wondering, what is that, Wyatt? Well, it's actually something that would stick to the windshield of your truck whenever you're driving. You'd sit your phone in here and pull up, you know, the like Google Maps or whatever you guys use to navigate, and it'll help. You can look at the screen while you're driving, and it'll be your GPS. What I actually use this for is, one, you can put your phone in backwards like this, turn it sideways, and there you go, right in your car or truck, you have a perfect vlogging camera set up, just like that. You can angle it all around, any which way, and it's super duper convenient for vlogging when you guys are driving. Now you guys might have seen one of my more recent videos where we did a leaf cleanup, uh, actually one of the smallest ones we've ever done. You guys can all check that out in my videos. Um, but at the beginning of that, I actually had this exact setup. I had this hooked up to the windshield of my truck, and actually, I didn't have my phone in there, I had my GoPro in there, but the GoPro will sit right in there as well. Just push these together, holds it in place. It's really universal, you can use it for GoPro, phone, really whatever you guys want to vlog with. But all in all guys, this is definitely a great piece of equipment to have when making YouTube videos. Alright guys, the last thing you gotta have to make YouTube videos is something that you probably would guess already, and that's motivation. You guys gotta have motivation to make videos to help others learn and to succeed, and it's also gonna help yourself too. When I started my channel, I honestly didn't even think I'd hit a thousand subscribers. Now of course when I was gonna start it, I told all my friends and family, I'm gonna start this YouTube channel, I'm gonna hit a thousand subscribers. Guys, they laughed me out of the room. No one thought I was gonna hit a thousand subscribers. I didn't think I was gonna hit a thousand subscribers. I was still shooting for that, and uh, thankfully today, you know, it's worked out pretty good, and uh, I think we're at 4K now. So so that's awesome. Thanks guys for that. But that's not the reason I started my channel. I don't start it, you know, for the subscriber count. I don't start it to make the money because really, you know, you're not going to be famous on YouTube through lawn care. You're not going to make a lot of money on YouTube through lawn care. That's what those really big channels are for that makes like, you know, regular daily vlogs or, you know, prank videos and stuff. They're going to be the ones making the money. The reason you guys are going to want to start your channel is to help inform and entertain others. Like I said at the beginning of the video, that's the whole reason and the sole purpose I started my channel. And it seems to have helped a lot of people so far. I get messages through Instagram all the time, people thanking me for my videos. Videos, or asking me questions, and you know, it's really nice to get that feeling, get a warm, fuzzy, ooey, gooey, mushy feeling on the inside. And guys, it's super awesome. Uh, I'm glad that I, you know, was able to succeed in that and help others out. Anyways, guys, that's it for this YouTube video. I hope that I encouraged you guys to maybe consider making a YouTube channel. And if you do, be sure to comment down below. Let me know you started yours, and I'll be sure to subscribe to your channel and be one of your first subscribers, if not your very first subscriber. As always, guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. But wait, there's more. At the Man Cave! <laughs> hey guys, we're at the Man Cave today, and we actually got some fan mail to open up. I apologize for a little bit harder to understand today. Um, I'm actually not feeling so great. I've been sick for a little bit now, but my YouTube video is becoming more and more delayed, and uh, I want to get something out to you guys, so I figured I'd record this anyway. And there's uh, some first ones from Nick Linsky out of Kentucky, uh, so let's see what's in here. Alright guys, here's the first one from Lawn Boys Lawn Care and Landscaping. License, quality, reliability guaranteed. I'm blocking out the phone number there. And then here's the other side with all the services on it. And I like that, how it has your custom estimate amount on there they can write in. Uh, super duper cool guys. And they also sent out the super sweet sticker which is going to go up on the man cave. So thanks, Nick, for sending that out, man. Really appreciate it. I'll definitely stick the business card in my business card collection inside the house. And I put this sticker on the man cave right now. All right, Nick, so we actually got your sticker here right up next to 904 Lawn Pros and Zion Lawn Care. Super duper cool and uh, really nice sticker, man. Let me know where you got that made at because I'll actually be interested in getting some stickers made soon. I can send out to people that send out stuff like this. Currently, I'm just sending out business cards back, but I'd really like to be able to join the sticker game because... So you guys just have really cool stickers. Okay guys, so this next one's gonna be from Vito's Lawn Care in Indiana actually. And I met him through Instagram. Uh, his channel link's down below. And uh, let's see what's in here. Okay guys, so we actually got a business card from him. Actually a really nice looking card too. But I don't have a way to show you guys it without blocking his number. Cause it does take up a large portion of it and right in the middle too. So I'm not really sure how to show you guys without showing his number, so I'm not going to show you guys the business card. He also sent out this really cool decal. Um, I'm not sure how to apply it, but I'm going to figure it out real quick and then stick it right up on the man cave. Alright man, so we got your decal put up here. That wasn't so bad, I figured it out actually really quickly. But anyways, it looks really nice up here. Right next to Miss Mullins uh, lawn enforcement here. Uh, super duper cool man, thanks for sending that out. Super duper high quality, and uh, I'm not sure yet if I want to do a decal like that, or a sticker, like maybe one of these. Not sure yet, but like I said, hopefully I'll get some soon. 
So thanks so much for sending that out, guys. Really appreciate it. As always, I appreciate the fan mail. And the whole goal is to get this whole thing covered, possibly by the end of 2019. I definitely think that's very possible. And uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out their channels or Instagram pages down in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.